So we were on what used to be the old exam schools. Underneath that is the remains of an Augustinian friary that was here in Cambridge between about 1290 and 1538. But what we've got left are the foundations of three or four large buildings and a cemetery and as well as the cemetery we've got some burials within one of those buildings. This friar is founded around 1290, we don't actually have a foundation date, that's just the earliest documentary evidence we have but it's probably founded sometime in the 1280s and by that time Cambridge is actually a thriving market town. We know from work nearby that people have been living around this part of town since the mid-11th century. And of course, what you get in the early 13th century is the establishment of the university. Traditionally, that's dated to 1209, and certainly by 1220, the 1220s, you have a lot of what we would consider academic activity going on. And then throughout the 13th century, there are lots of religious establishments are founded on the fringes of Cambridge. And this is definitely one of those. And this one in particular seems to have been founded specifically because the Augustinians wanted to have links with the sort of growing academic communities. They wanted to be involved in that, they wanted members of their order to learn. So a couple of the very earliest houses of the founder, one in Cambridge and one in Oxford, specifically to be involved with the academic community. And certainly from later on in the 15th century, the early 16th century, we know members of the Friary are very involved in academic debates. They have lots of academic and scholarly contacts.